What would... Dude in the back, yeah, that was good, that was good. What the hell would he know about depth? Crazy that this dude's the director of training at CrossFit, and he's probably taught, I don't know, 100,000 plus people how to squat. Yo, someone's doing it. There's a CrossFit sucks video out there. Of course I've gotta do what I do, see if they have any ground to stand upon, and they've kinda of forced my hand. This individual who runs the strength classroom, tried to look around a little bit, could never find the name of this individual, but I'm gonna play a bit really quick. All right, so trying a new format here, we'll see how it works out. Now while I don't know what his name is, I can't help but just think that he sounds like the bro science guy. First off, CrossFit is a class. I should just stop there. But he's not funny. And I told you that I gotta do something. Gotta lay the foundation for my argument against Dom Mazzetti here. And this will make a whole lot of sense to you in about, I don't know, two or three minutes, but we're going to start with one of my 475 pound back squats. This is from the year, I believe it's 2018. Looks pretty hard, and it's only until about three years later that I hit that exact same lift and it looks a little bit better. The currency in which this dude argues is in weightlifting. Now he has this channel called The Strength Classroom. He basically lifts in a dungeon that is his basement. He has videos on how to strengthen his neck. He has a lot of videos on how to strengthen his neck. I'm actually pretty fond of the neck strengthening stuff, but there are a joke or two that you can make about that when this is all said and done. But just in case Mr. Damazetti thinks that those squats weren't good enough because he has a word or two to say about everything, here's a couple of my favorite snatches. Here's a 265 pound double that I did in this garage before I had the entire thing all done up. And then a 280 pound snatch that I had done after a five mile run. Here's a 285 pound snatch that that I did during the Granite Games qualifier that was like 2018, I believe. And as I watched that thing back a couple of times, it's like one of my most fluid and favorite snatches ever, followed by my all-time best snatch, which was like 2019. That's 291 pounds. Notice how these are all from, I don't know, 2017, 18, 19. The reason for that is because I don't want Dom Mize to be throwing the use of testosterone at me. Oh, he's just throwing because he uses steroids. Is that what you think? Good luck. And here's a whole bunch of stuff that you just won't understand. Here's a one-arm pull-up, Dom. You strengthen your neck. I can do one arm pull ups. Here's some back up rises that I did before the 2018 regional, just messing around with the teammates. Here's something that I've never seen anybody do on a pegboard before. All right, all of that's gonna make sense to you in about three seconds. We're gonna let Dom keep on talking himself into a hole. So, this is a classic, classic video. I think I saw this in 2011. That's 13 years ago. Now just hold on to the fact that he thought that he saw this way back then. This just illustrates how bad most, most CrossFit athletes are. A video from 13 years ago illustrates just how bad most CrossFit athletes are. 13 years ago. I hate to ruin the ending for you guys, but the only person he comes at during the entirety of this video is not a CrossFit athlete. So that claim is garbage. This was posted on the official CrossFit YouTube channel. Oh, maybe this is why they're making a new one. We are launching a uh, a new YouTube ta YouTube channel specifically focused on training, and so this will be just about uh, education uh, that for you and for your coaches that can make you better. A free resource with really high quality content. We think about this as you know an always on resource that you can use to continue to hone and refine your craft, and so. Uh, we're going to get that out the door in the next month or so. Look forward to kind of your guys' feedback on what you'd like to see there. Right, they're going to start posting more videos like this because if you look at his screen right there, you can see that this video got 516,000 views. Wow. So maybe they're going to be using their main YouTube channel to post more videos to get a whole bunch of views like this one, posting training on the other one. Two out of the three people in this, I don't know, they display nothing. Two out of the three people display nothing. What have you done, Derek? If I recall in this video, it's Dave Thunderbro Lipson, it's Jason Kalipa, and it's Dave Castro. Which two display nothing? Yeah. Not bad. Okay? 520, that's a that's a legit squat. Depending on the angle you look at it, it's maybe a tad high. 520 is a legit squat. It's heavier than the ones that I showed you of myself earlier. I've never broken 500 pounds on a squat, and it is high. That's my job. I'll determine whether or not the squats are high, Dom. Who gives a shit? It's not in a powerlifting competition. 
It's not being judged. But you judged it. I mean, it's cool that you're going to say that who cares, but you, you judged it. You did judge it. Just for the record, you said that you don't care. We're not judging. Uh-huh. Trust me, video gets a lot worse than that. The video gets worse. You titled the video CrossFit Sucks, one of the worst CrossFit videos I have ever seen. And all of it's true due to the, 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 the lifts. CrossFit sucks because of the Thunder Bros lifts. Now this dude, is legit. I've seen Jason Kalipa, Kalipa, I don't know how to say it. But you've been watching CrossFit videos since 2011 and you don't know Jason Kalipa won the 2008 CrossFit games. Okay. When I heard this dude was the director of programming, I almost <laughs> my pants. Okay. Is it because he's Hispanic? Tell me why you crapped yourself, Dom. Like he's not like a Louis Simmons or someone in that like realm where you could tell they were kind of badass back in the day. All right. And I wouldn't want Louis Simmons writing the CrossFit Games workouts, but Dave was a Navy SEAL. I'm not saying that it's a prerequisite for writing the program at the games, but you're saying you gotta be some sort of level of badassery in order to do that. And I take that over Louis Simmons, but that's just me. Just look at this. That was high. That was as high as can be. 315 and it's high? Firstly, that was 335 pounds. Second of all, you said that Dave Lipsons was good, and Dave Lipsons was higher than Dave Castro's. Put them side by side, and you can clearly see that Dave Lipsons' squat is higher than Castro's, but you gave him a pass, and you also said that you weren't judging. It's almost like Dom is a white knight for the heavy lifters. So high. Terrible mechanics. How can you be the director of programming? This speaks the volumes about the sport. There's a few layers here because later in the video, they're pulling on the deadlift. And if you've seen the video, you know how that's gonna go. But he's talking about Dave Lipson's heavy, heavy, heavy deadlift. And he goes, who cares if it looks good? It's a max lift. But then when it comes to Castro. Terrible mechanic. And his inferior weights, all of a sudden, this dude is just hounding him. Terrible mechanics. How could you possibly be the programmer for the CrossFit games? This speaks the volumes about the sport. And what does Dave Castro's squat technique have to do with the, 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 the volumes it speaks about the sport? Nothing. If memory serves me correctly, this one's a tad bit high. Eh, it could be worse, but it does look high from that angle. Legitimately four seconds ago, you wanted to take off Castro's head for his 335 pound squat, which was about two inches lower than Dave Lipson's squat right there. I know what it was. About two hours before Dom made this video, he lit some candles, he got out the bottle of freaking baby oil, he rubbed himself up, and in the other hand, he got the bottle of lotion, the bag of Kleenex, and then he just got to work. Watching Dave Lipson's squat. Oh, did he have knee wraps on too? Rewind, see if he had knee wraps. I don't want to waste your time. When I first watched this thing, I thought he was talking to his editor. Hey, yeah, rewind this thing. Hey, Jamie. But no, he's telling you, the viewer, yeah, you go back and you see if he's got knee wraps. I'm not going to do it for you. I don't want to waste your time. So in post-production, Dom, you go do it for us. But yeah, knee wraps do help. But how about you mention his squat depth, which you failed to mention at all when you slap on an extra 200 pounds. For some reason, it's like the God of Thunder, bro, is going to come and find you when you talk about his lift. And you're, you're okay with beating up on the guy who isn't quite as strong as him. What would? Dude in the back, yeah, that was good, that was good. What the hell would he know about depth? His, his squat was 12 inches high. Crazy that this dude's the director of training at CrossFit, and he's probably taught, I don't know, 100,000 plus people how to squat across the entire freaking world. A closs across. Something that I just couldn't shake from my head as I watched. It's just like, imagine when he finds out that Greg Glassman is the one who invented all this stuff. This dude's little baby brain will not be able to work through the fact that Greg Glassman's words, theories, and program have created the likes of Rich Froning, Matt Fraser, and Patrick Vellner's freaking trap. This is pathetic, okay? This is pathetic. I trained someone, brand new beginner, a year and a bit, and he was able to put up 135 for one rep. That's pathetic. 
Now you're probably wondering, Andrew, what do you make these videos for? What are you doing this for? Is it just purely to crap on Don Mazzetti? I'm like, no, no. It's because people like Don Mazzetti give the entire training industry a terrible name. There's a conversation that I had with a handful of members. It was a family that moved from one affiliate local to me into my affiliate. And one of the first stories that they told me about the final straw that made them leave the affiliate that they were at was that when the workout was being debriefed, coach who was talking to the athletes kept on saying, you won't do it like me. I did it like this. I did it this fast. I broke it up like this. There's no way that you could break it up like that. And this is what he's doing right here. Imagine walking into a freaking gym for the first time and you get Dom as your coach. You get Dom as your trainer. And I know so many dudes who have a 95 pound strict press. And yeah, there's chicks everywhere that can blow them out of the water. And there's also dudes out there who on their first day of pressing could do a buck 85. It's just the lever. Some people are better at pressing than other people. It's the sort of thing that people like Dom will never understand. He's going to look at someone like Dave, completely disregard the fact that he's got, I don't know, tens of thousands of miles under his legs, could have ruck his butt into a freaking wall, and he's gonna just stare at that press and go, I don't know how you can program for the games with a 145 strict press, you freaking idiot. And he gives everyone a bad name when you do stuff like that. Your entire argument about this video where you say CrossFit sucks is based upon the fact that Dave Castro isn't strong. That's why no one will remember your name. If you stretch the thing all the way out, you should be having Mitchell Hooper run the freaking CrossFit game. Mitchell Hooper, what should we do on event one? Uh, uh. I don't know, as long as there's women in it and John Young isn't announcing, we're good. You're the director of programming and you can barely put up one plate for one rep? Absolutely pathetic. Dom, I find your taste in jewelry pathetic. Ah, a little bit uneven, but you know what? This is not, this is not a competition. That's a legit myth. Why is it that when it comes to the heavy stuff, all of a sudden you soften up? I wouldn't want to fight him. They're not going to suck on you. They will not suck on you, Dom. It's the entire issue with the world of internet creation. People see things and they're like, I can't say bad words about you. I want to be you. Oh, I can already do what you do. You're no good. Good freaking luck, Dom. Good freaking luck. See, they don't have it because you know you can't cheat that lift. You can barely cheat an overhead press. Well, you can, sorry. You can cheat an overhead press a lot. Thank you. Frankly. You make this entire video. Your kick reaction is that you can't cheat a strict press, and then you have this weird jumbling of words ending with Frank. Thank you. Frankly. And that's really where this whole thing went off the rails. You never mentioned Frank to me, Dom. I dropped it. Whatever. It's a gym lift. Again, it's really heavy, so all of a sudden you drop it. That's okay. <laughs> also, I think that's one of the dumbest standards ever. It's a powerlifting thing. If you don't control the bar to the floor, then the whole freaking thing doesn't count. I'm legit shocked he can deadlift 445. I'm shocked. A semi hitch, but. He's gonna disregard the way that Dave Lipson's lifting that weight, cranking his head up, which is never a good idea on a deadlift, but disregard it and crap on the person who hit the 445 just because you gotta keep on crapping on Castro. Brace yourself. There's a timer there for a reason. You gotta remember, CrossFit made this video, put this video on their own YouTube channel so that people like you would look at it, mention it, and make videos like this years later. I can appreciate like the struggle and the effort, but what the hell was that? I'd say it's probably about five pounds over his one rep max deadlift. What would you say it was, Dom? 465 when you struggle like that and you're the director of programming? No wonder CrossFit is shit. Every night, I bet that Dom goes to bed and he gets out a carton of eggs and he just wants to see how many he can fit in his mouth on that particular night. He's gonna throw one in there. He's like, oh, I got one egg. There was another one in there. All right, that's two eggs. There was another egg on there. And then he's like, okay, that's three eggs. And now I'm gonna throw on the next strap that I strengthen my neck with every single day. And he cracks the eggs in his mouth. And then any single person that can't fit three eggs into their mouth while they're working on his neck exercises, he's gonna crap on him. He's like, I can fit three eggs in my mouth. Jason Kalipa, oh, you can fit four eggs in your mouth. Oh, the Thunder Bro can fit five. You guys are great. But Dave, you who fit two eggs in your mouth, you're no good to the world. There's no way that because you fit two eggs in your mouth that you can write workouts at the CrossFit Games. You are incompetent, sir. If I remember correctly, this, this lift is hitched to hell. When he says that he looks up to the sky like he remembers the time he spent with Dave about three hours ago. <laughs> Hitched to hell. Hitched to hell. And then he just stands there and watches him and you can see his pants start to rise a little bit as he watches Dave lift with that super broken neck and he does hitch the crap out of it, but he doesn't have a single bad word to say about him because it's really freaking heavy. It's 2010 and 2014, I would like to say in 14 years, 
that CrossFit has gotten a lot better. However, I can't say that. I just can't say that. Someone just died in a competition. This brings me back to that initial video that he made and he's like clickbait titles. Hello everyone and welcome to the Strength Classroom. Like most of you, I was big into YouTube fitness videos. But somewhere down the line, the quality of the content drastically went down. Nowadays, YouTube is littered with full day of eating videos, videos with clickbait titles that have nothing to do with fitness. I have created this YouTube channel for people who want quality YouTube fitness content with a no-nonsense approach. But this is the rage bait, clickbait stuff that's been going on. You see that people are getting views, you gotta mention it. And what does this lifting have to do with the incident that happened at the games this year? Like nothing, nothing. Dave Castro can't squat and you make this leap. You're out of your freaking mind, bruh. Because CrossFit is just random. That's all it is. There's no goal. The goal is to be a professional exerciser. Mm, increased work capacity across broad time and middle domains, whatever. They rent out stadiums to have the CrossFit Games. There's maybe 200 people in the stands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. Little do you know is that this dude can only count to 200. So he's like 199, 200, uh, two, uh, 200, two, 200, 200. Uh, yeah, there's 200. It's just, it's just a mind blowing sport. I have no clue how anyone could be interested in it or follow it. It just makes no sense to me. As you just made a video on a video from over a decade ago, you're asking me these questions. I think you answered these questions. You answered them. You're, you're doing it. You're interested. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, people did like, share, and subscribe this thing to me. And you did say go to the comment section. So now we're gonna go in here. Barry McCockiner, nice. CrossFit is Dude who can't run a mile, cool. Meaning he probably can't run a mile, because if he could, you'd say, I can run a mile. Chris Beasterfield wants his change back. Dude watching a video from 2010 and judging it in 2024, Jan Clark. As I said in the video, as if that's supposed to mean something. What, 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 what are you missing in that comment? It's ridiculous that you're judging this video 14 years later with the words you're using. It makes no sense to you, but there's 400,000 CrossFitters that take part in the Open each year. It's almost like people can make their own decisions. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Yes, and your decisions on the words you're using in the video you put on the internet are wrong. You're just wrong. Oh, spin. I'm gonna tell my friends about this. I wonder if he was talking about me. I'm assuming you would expect the NFL commissioner to be able to run a 4440 also. I would, actually. I mean, at least those ideas track. I mean, you're never gonna get that from an NFL commissioner because they're usually like 70 years old. But again, with this logic, he wants Dave Castro to be replaced by, I don't know, freaking Fraser, Medeiros, one of those guys. I've questioned CrossFit whether their CrossFit training is actually good for you for a long time, then he responds, 100%, who the hell thinks it's a good idea to take skill-based exercises and do endless reps of them? I don't know, probably people who don't want to look like you. Now, this is where I'm gonna get a little bit judgy. Yeah! Because honestly, you pissed me off a bit. Dom, your body could use some endless repetitions. And I'm not talking like treadmill, I'm not talking elliptical, I'm not talking anything like that, not, not even a rower. But it's kind of like what Trish the Dish 2024 followed this up with saying that endless reps, I know anything more than five bewildered strength guys, but it's not endless. The intensity component is going to carve up that body of yours, Dom. That soft, weird, hairy looking body thing that you've got. Oh, look, someone talked to me, my random mirror physio. How can you fact check my opinion? Opinions. Um, keeping it real says because they are that bad, he will come for you and you will do nothing because you can do nothing. I think I want to end this video, Dom, with you just wait. Wait until Tyson Bajan gets a chance to be the full-time starting quarterback on an NFL team. That dude is a CrossFitter. He is going to be the thing that shows to the entire world just how potent the method is. And Tyson, unlike you or anybody like you, powerful, coordinated, strong, balanced, and you know all the 10 components of fitness, and you're just stupid. But as you said a thousand times in your comment section, you can do whatever you want on your YouTube channel. Welcome to the real world, Dom Andrew Hiller, out. Nothing is impossible. No, what are you waiting for? Do it!